how good is the English of your favorite Chinese superstar? In this video, in this video, you're going to find out. I'm going to rank from worst, in my opinion, worst to best, the English of Chinese superstars, not all superstars. Let's say well-known people. So let's start with the CEO of Xiaomi. I'm very happy to be in China, to be in India. <laughs> Do you like me band? Okay, we have a gift. Are you okay? Are you okay? So we've got to start somewhere. I have to give him a one. And I think someone had just told him what to say, maybe right before. And so he was trying to remember that. It's pretty brave to stand up on a stage in front of a huge crowd and speak a language which you don't even know. Next is Deng Chao. You know, uh, that is a my, my team, yeah. Yes. Give me, uh, give him yeah, give me, one uh, coffee. You know, one coffee. Deng Chao gets a 2.5. A 2.5. He knows very few words, but the words he does know. He uses very well and very creatively. Next is Fan Bingbing. So excited! It's amazing. Everybody is wearing the dress. It's very beautiful. So I like it. Yeah, I wish, I wish that he will win. I give her a four. Now I couldn't find very many videos on the internet of her speaking English, so it was a little bit tough to really judge it because the clips were were quite short. But I got the impression that she. I got the impression that she wasn't really comfortable with with English, speaking English, and she had a she had a very difficult time trying to find the words she wanted, and she couldn't say very much. So I think it might be very hard for her to have a, a full conversation in English. Next, Liu Wen, ooh la la. My hometown is very small city, so no fashion, no any like acting style in the school. So I never going to school to say that. So I didn't know what is modeling. So I couldn't work in high heels. I kind of pose. You know, I was so shy. She gets a five. Now we're in the middle. Conversational. She can carry on a conversation, which is good. But there are a lot of grammar mistakes in there, and the accent is pretty clear. Pretty clear pronunciation issues. Next, J Cho. Because the language, English, it's, it's, it's a problem. It's a problem for me. Uh -huh. So, you know, very nervous when I made the first time. But right now, I fix this. There you I go. say English, right? I speak English. Jay gets a six. He's able to carry on a conversation, he's able to express himself, and I think he knows quite a few vocabulary words, but it seems like he's always searching for them, that it's a little bit difficult for him to find them. Next, Angela Baby. I like the script. Yeah, I like the story. And uh, in, in the Independence Day 2, I was a fighter pilot. And I saved the world. <laughs> yeah. Angela Baby gets a 6. Can I give Angela Baby a 10, even though she doesn't deserve it? Actually, she's able to express herself as well. I think she knows quite a few words. Um, she's done a couple of interviews in English, and she's been pretty articulate. Articulate means she's able to express her thoughts specifically, but she makes quite a lot of grammatical mistakes. The next one is Li Bingbing. Maybe I have a lot of movies coming out and uh, not coming out, come to discuss with me. I'm still uh, thinking about it. She gets a 6.5. She clearly studies hard and, and really works at her English, but when she speaks, it's quite simple very simple English and she does make some mistakes as well. Next, Jackie Chan. Run without bouncing. You just run like little feet, kind yeah, of keeping da, it da, 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 I run with two cups full of water. And you, if you drop the water, a teacher is gonna whip you. Then after that, upside down, you know, handstand, one hour. One hour on your handstand? Yeah, your handstand. one hour and handstand. After that, and then punch and kick. Jackie Chan gets a seven. 
A lot of people think, well, he's in a lot of American movies, right? His English must be great. Well, in fact, he has a pretty strong accent, and when he speaks, he does make quite a few grammatical uh, errors. So, yeah, he's able to say pretty much anything he wants to say. He's able to communicate really clearly, but, 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 um, he doesn't sound native. So, Jackie, a seven for you. I hope he doesn't come to beat me up for giving him a seven. Next is Joe Wong. I'm honored to uh, meet uh, Vice President Joe Biden here tonight. Um, I actually read your autobiography, and today I see you. I think the book is much better. <laughs> Joe Wong is hilarious. He gets a 7.5. He actually is somewhat famous in America. He did one of the correspondence dinners. He's able to say things that are funny in English. He understands English humor very well. He's hilarious, actually. And uh, so that's pretty impressive. If you can be funny in multiple languages, good job. Next. Michelle Yeoh. She has the choice to leave any time. Yeah. I mean, that's, I think sometimes that is even more difficult. If you were just a, a prisoner with the lock and key in place, there is no choice. A nine. Very natural. Very natural. Not totally native pronunciation, but good. Next and last is Wang Li Hong. Manipulating prices of stocks. Someone has also attacked a nuclear facility's cooling engines and caused a nuclear meltdown. So these are really incredibly heinous crimes. The Chinese government and the American government have to work together to find out who's responsible. Ten! A ten! A ten. Native English. That's it. Native English. No, nothing. This is perfect. Mwah! Perfect. Perfect. Ten. Ten. <laughs> All right, there you go. My job here is done. See you next time. Hey, Mushroom. Yes? How's my Chinese? If you give me a score from one to ten, what is my Chinese level? About zero. About zero? <laughs> <laughs> 好的.